everybody, this is Perch, and uh, this is probably kind of dad perch advice type video, so you can click away right now if that stuff irritates you. I, I don't know. Um, I was, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've, I've leaned into more uh, fitness of late, and in particular, with the pandemic and everything, it started out kind of walking, doing some uh, re rehab, and uh, no, not not for alcohol. And uh, I had I was doing heavy walking, so I was trying to get at least ten thousand steps a day, and then it became fifteen, and then twenty thousand steps a day, and then the walking turned into running. So now I try and get about six six miles a day in is what I what I go for. Um, it's easy to do. It's one of those things that where it looks and sounds like a lot of distance, and then once you start doing it, you get a routine, you get a, a place that you go that works. Um, you find it's really easy, and then you find yourself making excuses to uh, get out of the house. No, wait a minute. I don't mean it that way. No, you just, you find yourself like, I can do two more. I can do, I can do a little bit more. I did, uh, one day I did 16 miles and it wasn't like a race day. It was, a, uh, you know, it was just, I went out and then I went out a second time and I'm like, oh man, I've got 15 uh, miles, almost up to 50 miles. I'll just, let me, let me just do a couple more. You get like that with fitness. Um, anyway, the, the, believe it or not, that's not where this video is going, but, uh, I'm out doing my, my run, and I one of the places I go is a track, especially in Seattle. It's uh, wet and muddy sometimes, so the one of the places I really like during the summer is not as good when it gets into the fall. And there's this, uh, it was great during COVID, but now school's back and people are coming in, so now they're doing soccer training and everything else. And uh, so it's, it's annoying now being there with all these people. One of the nice parts was to be away from people. And I'm watching this soccer practice, and for whatever reason, the coach is there with a bunch of, I would say, high school, junior high and high school level kids. And the coach is, uh, or the people, the trainers, whoever, whatever these pretty people are, I have a hard time believing they're full coach. They are going full Gordon Ramsay on these kids. They're like, you son of a bitch, you dumb fuck, get over here and kick that ball, you fucker. And they're just like, I, and I'm, I'm like, I'm no, you know, obviously no prude to cursing. But I'm listening to that, and I'm looking at the body language of the kids who are standing around. And almost every single one of them is standing there going, why did I do this? Like, I could be home playing that new Resident Evil game with the giant vampire lady with the giant boobs. I could be doing so many other things right now than doing this. I don't want to be lectured to. I don't want to be yelled at. Like, this is supposed to be exercise or a credit or fun, one of those. But... It's definitely not supposed to be something where I'm just uh, have to endure somebody trying to get off on being like the meanest coach. And I like many things. I'm watching that. I'm thinking about comics and I'm thinking about one of the dynamics of comics has become the lecture where you're on social media, you're on Facebook, you're on Twitter. And for whatever reason, the comic writer, artist, creator, uh, feels impaired. They, 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 they're not, it's not like somebody comes at them and then they come back with a response. I do fully believe in the, you give some, you're going to get some kind of mentality. I do think that there are absolutely no doubt about it. There are people who go on social media and pee on creators and then uh, turn into giant snowflakes when the creator pushes back. I, I don't care if you're a customer, if you come in and you start being an asshole, then you're going to get what you get. I think that is fair game, but it's not that case. It's the creator has decided for whatever crazy ass reason that they wanted to wake up this morning and uh, start a giant lecture on how to give them portfolios or how to submit an idea or the appropriate way to talk to a distributor or how you're supposed to approach them at a con or what it means to get a signature and why you should be grateful and talk in the right way or why you shouldn't, you know, try, even though the DMS are open, you shouldn't use that DM because it's not for you. And it's just, it's an exhausting pile of crap half the time. It's these long rant lecture threads. And you wonder, you're reading these and you're wondering why in the world did this person decide to post this? It's not helpful. It's not useful. Nobody wanted it. Uh, nobody is, you know, no, no, none of this is net positive. And it's taking something like at least what I was seeing on the faces of those kids who were trying to play soccer. It's taking something that was like, hey, this was meant to be fun. But instead, um, you're going to suffer. 
Instead, uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to erect a tiny little stage here, climb up onto that stage, and then start bitching at you for who you are and what you're doing and how you're doing and everything else. I am not saying, by the way, I understand in the pro leagues that uh, you know people can get aggressive and, and being aggressive in sports is fine. And some people, by the way, some psychology, some people respond well or need somebody to scream at them in order to kick them into gear. You may have, uh, when you were in school, you had the mean teacher, and it was like divided in half. Like half the half the students would, you know, in college, you'd always have a couple of mean teachers, and half the students would hate this person and just try and do whatever they had to do to get out of the class and move on with their day, and the other half seemed to almost like it's an abuse syndrome. They needed to be screamed at in order to put in their best work. I've learned as I've you know hired people and and interact with people, networking. Anyone, like I, I, I used to ask that question, actually, like, hey, tell me what your favorite teacher was in school. And it's a trick question for me. If somebody said, oh, uh, my favorite teacher was, a, there, there was this one guy and he would just scream at us and he would yell at us. He'd make you feel like absolute shit. But I, I came to realize he was just driving me to my best. I'm like, oh, OK, interesting. And I don't hire you because you're, you're, you, you require abuse in order to get basic work done. It means you, you can't, you're not a self-starter. Anyway, that may be harsh on my end, but I'm just telling you, that's, that's, I always mistrusted people that seem to require that kind of behavior in order to get them to kick into gear. Uh, but in comics, um, it's even more baffling, because unlike soccer, unlike uh, school, like school where you have to go to class, unlike soccer where there's, you know, maybe it's good for your health, maybe it's a credit that you need for class, everything else, Comics is a pure enjoyment product. It's not something that you're forced to do. It's not something that, uh, you know, that you're, that any, there's no requirements. At no point is, uh, are you forced to read comics? So you can basically nope out any time you want of comics. You can, you can decide, I've had enough, I'm not interested. No problem. So because it's a completely voluntary opt-in uh topic, why in the world would anyone think that it was a good plan to berate the customers, the people you want to buy the product, help sustain it, keep things going? It's a terrible plan. And not just berate. I think a lot of uh, you know videos and things have talked in the past about, uh, oh, this kind of angry, abusive, screaming kind of behavior. But it's not just screaming. Sometimes it's uh, it's like I mentioned, it's it's the it's the weird lecture. It's like, uh, you know, in, in Twitter speak, nobody, blank, comic writer, let me tell you in this 50-part Twitter thread uh, why you should only talk or submit work in a certain way that fits what I think is appropriate. What's worse are the other comic professionals who come in and retweet this giant-ass thread with like a this or a little like gif of somebody clapping and other things. Nobody wants this. Nobody at all finds this entertaining or, uh, you know, or uh, encouraging or, or, you know, the only people who are responding are either other kind of comic professionals who, for whatever reason, are getting off on, on lecturing people or this personality type, as I said, who's so codependent on abuse that they need somebody to just yell at them. They're, they're a clear bottom. And that's, that's what they have to have to sustain them in their life. But it's not, none of this, this isn't healthy. It's not good. And, and when you wake up in the morning and you think, I know the thing I want to do is to jump on social media and uh, start lecturing people. Like, I, just, just don't. I, I think there's a lot of people who will watch uh, Hell's Kitchen or they'll see Gordon Ramsay and they'll see him just screaming at the different cooks. And they'll like, like, man, he's an asshole, but that's entertaining. He's not screaming at me. Oh my goodness. It's, it's look at how, and they think that's the personality for me because the show, a reality show, it's heavily, heavily edited, heavily scripted, heavily put together, uh, portrays Gordon Ramsay as some kind of, uh, you know, like cooking savant genius. And even though he's being a complete and utter asshole that in normal life would get him fired or punched or both. On this TV show, Fantasy, this is, uh, this is behavior we're all going to accept because it makes for good entertainment. It makes for good television. Well, 
don't choose to be an asshole. Don't choose to take that personality on. It's not an attractive personality. It's not a it's not something that's a winning personality. It's not something that's going to help you. It's not something that's going to endear you to anyone but weirdos. Being a crazy prick is funny when you're watching it on Netflix or on, on whatever you're watching on. It, it's funny in that context because you're tuning in to see some hapless schmuck get berated. And then you, you, know, you may be feeling bad about this person getting chewed up, and that's why the TV quickly then segues to like one of the little interview confessionals where the person who got yelled at is like, well, it wasn't fun getting yelled at, but I know that Chef Ramsey just wants me to be a better cook, and that's why he does what he does. And that's, uh, you know, I, I'm just, I, I know that uh, I'm stronger because of this. And then they'll like thank Chef Ramsey, like, man, you were hard on me, but I, I now, I, I understand better what it takes to be a cook. This is all TV editing. This is all script. In real life, if you were in a, a kitchen, and this, the cook came up and like sandwiched your head between two pieces of bread and made you say you're an idiot sandwich. Um, you, you again, that that guy's getting punched, or or sued, or I mean, that, there's no way that that's going to go on in real life. So don't watch that and think, hey, as a comic writer, I think the right thing to do is to uh, go on Twitter today and start lecturing people like they're two years old in an extremely condescending tone about how to supply, you know, scripts. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, you know, some of these people who do these threads like this, you're not getting scripts. You are not getting a bunch of unsolicited, uh, emails. You're not deluged every day by 500 DMS of people who are sending you genius script ideas. And it's, it's a danger to you to open them. That's not happening. I'm sorry. No matter how much you front, it's not happening. Again, we've done interviews with people like Jim Salicro, uh, like Carl Potts, like others who have talked at various times about their experiences. And well, occasionally people will submit things. It's rare. And that was back in a time when comics were, you know, were a lot more popular than they are today. And it, so, so you, you, you cannot pretend that you have this overwhelming problem that, that requires you to go on and be a prick on social media in order to, to kind of prove your point. Uh, comics are meant to be fun. Comics are fun. By their nature, even when it's a bad comic, even when it's a comic I don't enjoy, I still recognize it as a fun entertainment product. That's what it is. The only thing to screw that up is if you start injecting all of this nonsense around comics that stops making it fun. It's actually amazing how hard it is to make comics unfun and how many people are like, I'm up for that challenge. Let's see what we can do. Just relax. And, and, and don't, don't be like this. Gordon Ramsay is a fun character on TV. It's not for you. Don't try and be Gordon Ramsay. I see a lot of these interviews and even with like, you know, I, and, and I don't know why people, people continue. They're like Kelly Sue DeConnick has a, her, an interview she did before the pandemic is making the rounds again. And people are writing articles about it at this point. What do you want from Kelly Sue? She is not a relevant player in comics right now. Maybe, maybe at some point she's going to come out and do a bunch of new comics and new stories and everything else. But this is not somebody who's driving much of anything in comics right now. I'm not saying lay off of her. You, you, you know, she makes the comments. It, she opened herself up. It's all, that's on her. But at this point, you know, there's a couple people out there who continue to make noise, but they're not actually producing anything. So what, what are, what is even the point at, at, at 2021? Like what, what, what influence does Kelly Sue have? I, I, I'm just asking, I don't know. Again, she makes these statements. So I'm not, I'm not playing a violin for her. Like, Oh my God, I can't believe, but still, like, why, why do we, why do we bother? I guess is my, my question. But anyway, but you see these interviews and they're putting on this persona of like, they're trying to be like super sarcastic, like, Hey, dumbass. And I was like, why are you just don't be that way. Don't comics is a fun entertainment product. Just have fun. Just, just, just be, be, I was going to say be yourself, but eh, maybe not just to try and have a good time. That's going to make you much happier for what it's worth. And, uh, you know, for the rest of us, to, to don't, don't go on and try and be Gordon. People kind of show up in my comments every once in a while. Like they're like, they want to pick a fight. Like, Hey, jackass. It's like, you know what? I'm, 
whatever, man. I go go play uh, go play uh, angry internet troll cosplay somewhere else. I, I mean, just just be yourself. Simple. Thanks for listening.